So it seems to me like, you know, if this does prove out to be a phenomenon that's reproducible and we can eliminate all possibilities of people misleading the experimenters, then we have to start searching for the mechanics of how this is actually happening. And it, I don't think you need to even go into John Wheeler level physics to come up with a mechanism for how this might be happening. Oh, absolutely. I discovered all of this research on biophotons and the fact that we emit biophotons. Okay, you know, at a threshold that's below most people's visual acuity, but that we do emit biophotons. And I've also um, yeah, learned that when people read silently to themselves, they still have some sub-auditory emissions from their vocal cords. Oh, wow. So it made me think that, you know, that, that we may be creating, you know, these sub-auditory vibrations when we think. We may be emitting photons that have a pattern associated with them that also has information. And one of the things we know about autistic individuals is that their sensory systems are um, hyperacute. They're, they're very sensitive to light. They're very sensitive to sound. Many of them have um, perfect pitch. Um, many of them have extraordinary hearing. Um, and, and so th the way I see it is that they could be like other animal species that we know see and here, outside of the usual range of visibility and, um, you know, and, and hearing of most of us, and that, and, and, and it's getting labeled mind reading, but it, it, it actually is um, just that.